வெல்கம் டு என்எம் சரேனா இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் தி மீடியன் குவார்டைல்ஸ் டெசைல்ஸ் அண்ட் परसेंटाइल्स நவ லெட் us see what each of it mean first of all the median it is the breaking point that divides the series into two equal parts whereas quartiles are those breaking points that divide the series into four equal parts when there is one median to break a series into two equal parts there has to be three quartiles for dividing a series into four equal parts then comes the deciles the deciles divides the series into 10 equal parts hence there has to be 9 deciles then comes the percentiles these are the breaking points that divides the series into 100 equal parts so there has to be 99 percentiles now let us see how this breaking is done if this is a series of data and it has to be broken down into two equal parts it has to be broken in the middle so this breaking point is the median the value that stands here or the value that that is placed here it is the median and if the series has to be broken down into four parts we have to include three breaking points see now the series is divided into four parts the first breaking point is the first quartile it is called q1 and the second breaking point is q2 the second quartile and the second quartile is equal to median and then comes the third quartile which is q3 now let us see how a series is divided into 10 parts by the deciles if this is a series it is divided into two equal parts by the median which is the middle most value or the middle most point in the series next we have to add nine deciles or nine breaking points to divide it into 10 parts see now this is the first part second part third this is fourth fifth this is the sixth part seven eight nine 10 so the series is divided into 10 parts and these breaking points have got names d1 this is the first decile d2 this is the second decile then third decile up to the ninth decile and an important thing is that the fifth decile d5 is the middlemost point and it will always be equal to the median this is how the deciles divide a series into 10 equal parts similarly the percentiles divides a series into 100 equal parts so there must be 99 percentiles and the 50th percentile will be equal to the median now let us see how the calculation of quartiles is done in the individual series first of all just like calculating the median we have to arrange the series either in ascending order or in the descending order then we have to apply the formula just like we are calculating the median so in the case of a median we are calculating it using the formula size of n plus 1 by 2th item and we know that q2 is equal to median or q2 is median itself so the formula for q2 is size of n plus 1 by 2th item and there are two other quartiles q1 and q3 q1 the formula is size of n plus 1 by 4th item size of n plus 1 by 4th item and q3 also the formula is size of 3 into n plus 1 by 4th item here the difference is that since it is the third quartile here the 3 has come and since it is a quartile divided by 4 so 3 into n plus 1 by 4th item the difference comes here in the case of median it is divided by 2 and the case of quartiles 
the first quartile is divided by 4 and the third quartile 3 into n plus 1 by 4. And the second quartile here it comes to because it is just like the 2 into n plus 1 by 4th item. 2 into n plus 1 by 4th item. That means we have to divide the 2 and 4. So when we do this calculation we get it as n plus 1 by 2 here. That is why we use n plus 1 by 2th item here. Now let us see how the calculation of deciles is done in the case of an individual series. We know that median is equal to D5 or D5 is the median itself. Hence the formula is same as that of median size of n plus 1 by 2th item. All the other deciles the formula is as follows. D1 is size of n plus 1 by 10th item. And D2 is size of 2 into 1, 1 plus 10 item. So when it is D2, here 2 comes. 2 into n plus 1 by 10 item. That is the difference. Here it is 1. And so here also it will be 1. 1 into n plus 1 by 10 item. Since it is 1, I have not written it here in the formula. Now, in the case of D3, it becomes 3. 3 into n plus 1 by 10th item. See, since it is decile, the denominator should always be 10. 3 into n plus 1 by 10th item. And D8, 8 into n plus 1 by 10th item. D9, 9 into n plus 1 by 10th item. So, all these 9 deciles are calculated as this. And only the 5th decile, D5, is just like median size of n plus 1 by 2 item. Now it is the calculation of percentiles. In the individual series, the formula is P1 is equal to size of to the first percentile. So size of 1 into n plus 1 by 100 item. Since it is percentile, here the denominator should be 100. So size of n plus 1 by 100th item and when it is p50 that is size of 50 into n plus 1 by 100th item now this p50 is equal to the median so it is size of n plus 1 by 2th item when we divide this 50 by 100 we will get it as n plus 1 by 2th item which is same as the median so p50 is equal to median or instead of this formula, size of 50 into n plus 1 by 100th item, we can use the formula size of n plus 1 by 2th item. Hope you have understood the calculation. 50 by 100 is equal to 1 by 2. That is n plus 1 by 2. Then, if it is P99, 99th percentile, the formula is size of 99 into n plus 1 by 100th item. All other calculations are same like what we are doing for the median. Now let us see how the calculation is done in the case of a discrete series. When it is a discrete series, median is calculated as size of n plus 1 by 2th item. So that is equal to Q2, D5 and P50. We know that. Next, if it is Q1, then this size of n plus 1 by 4th item, same as in the individual series. And if it is Q3, here it will be, the 3 will be multiplied here. 3 into n plus 1 by 4th item. If it is Q3, then let us go to D1. If it is D1, size of n plus 1 by 10th item. If it is D3, then size of 3 into n plus 1 by 10th item. If it is D6, then size of 6 into n plus 1 by 10th item. Like that it goes. Similarly for P1 also, size of n plus 1 by 100th item. If it is P60, then size of 60 into n plus 1 by 100th item. Like that it goes in the case of a discrete series. The formula is similar to that of individual series. Next, 
the calculation in continuous series. So in the case of a median, first we have to find the median class corresponding to the cumulative frequency which include n by 2. And then the interpolation formula is applied L1 plus n by 2 minus Cf by F into C. This interpolation formula is applied. And we know what L1, Cf, Cf all mean. We have uh, explained it in one of our previous videos. Now let us see what change happens to this formula. What change happens to this interpolation formula. And here to find median class what happens in the case of deciles, quartiles and all. Now in the case of uh, quartiles in continuous series, we have to find the class corresponding to the cumulative frequency which include n by 4. In the case of median it was n by 2 but here we have to find the class corresponding to the cumulative frequency which includes n by 4. And the interpolation formula for the median was L1 plus n by 2. Here instead of median it is quartile so for first quartile it will be n by 4. No other differences. L1 plus n by 4 minus Cf by F into C. And Q2 is same as median. So the same formula L1 plus n by 2 minus Cf by F into C. And the third quartile will be L1 plus C3. 3 into n by 4 minus Cf by F into C. This is the formula for the third quartile. So that is how quartiles are calculated in the continuous series. All other things are same as median. Now let us see how the calculation of deciles in continuous series. Here we have to find the class corresponding to the cumulative frequency which includes n by 10. See this is the important point. For median it was n by 2. For quartiles it was n by 4. And for deciles it is n by 10. Here also in the interpolation formula also the same different comes. For d1 it is l1 plus n by 10 n by 10 then minus cf by f into c same formula d5 is equal to median then d9 the formula is l1 plus 9 into n by 10 minus cf by f into c if it is d6 here instead of 9 it will be 6 if it is d7 instead of 9 it will be 7 only the difference all other things same like what we have done in the median Next is the calculation of percentiles in continuous series. Here, find class corresponding to cumulative frequencies which include n by 100. The difference is n by 100. And the interpolation formula, if it is P1, then L1 plus n by 100 minus Cf by F into C, same thing. P50 is equal to median. And if it is P99, L1 plus 99 into n by 100 minus cf by f into c if this was a p35 then this will be equal to l1 plus 35 into n by 100 minus cf by f into c this is how the calculation of quartiles deciles and percentiles are done in the case of a continuous series so the video has explained how the calculation of median Quartiles, deciles and percentiles are being done in all the three types of series, individual, discrete as well as continuous series. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching it and for more videos, subscribe the channel.